Hello, I am Alex Crăciun, executive chef based in London with over 15 years uh, working experience in uh, Michelin star restaurants London and all over the world. So today we're gonna cook a British classic, an inspiration take from a very, very interesting and very classic dish called Sunday Roast. We obviously, we're gonna put our own input into it using Japanese Wagyu, which we can enjoy thinly sliced as well so, so much. Secondary cuts, they are more affordable than the prime cuts, obviously, but that doesn't mean they are not one of the best what you can use for, uh, for the dish what we're gonna use today. I've chosen chuck roll because I love the texture, I love the flavor. If you don't find chuck roll, you definitely can use thinly sliced ribeye. So, me using secondary cut is something what is uh, widely used in Japan. We, it's a very uh, well-known cut. I know, I know we don't use it a lot and I think we should use it more because of its flavor, texture and, uh, and uh, marbling. For this recipe, I'm using uh, Japanese Wagyu slice at around two, uh, two millimeters. Um, Obviously look in the shop for sukiyaki cut, sukiyaki slice, and you will get something very, very similar. So to begin, we will start with the cabbage. We will uh, thinly uh, chiffonade. I will use a tiny bit of Wagyu fat. I have here a Wagyu fat, which I, I really love to use everything from Japanese Wagyu because it has a really beautiful, beautiful flavor. The fat is so sweet and so delicious. I will add two, three knobs of butter, just to make sure everything melts together. Put the cabbage in the pan. Important to make sure the cabbage is soft. That's, the, that's one of the most important uh, on this. Gonna dice some onion. Uh, finally, dice, it doesn't make any difference. You can, bournoise, you can uh, just fine dice onion. Take the cabbage out. Again, if you have more, add more. It's never too much of Wagyu fat. It's really, really, with a pinch of onion. We soften the, the onion, only till it gets translucent. Just cook for like a minute or two. Put the cabbage back in the pan. So the stock we talk about, which is, is not much flavor going into it, so it's not gonna change much of the flavor of the, of the Japanese Wagyu. Cook it again for another couple of minutes. I add a tiny bit of vinegar just to give her a bit of acidity. Cabbage being so sweet needs a bit of acidity. Wagyu, a Japanese Wagyu has a, a nice beautiful richness to it. So by adding an acidity, it's gonna help you to just enjoy it so much more. That's about this. A minute on this and we're almost ready. It's a Sunday roast. Obviously you don't need to do it only on Sunday. You can do it every day of the week. And now, because our inspiration is from Sunday roast, so we need to make sure we are, uh, we have some vegetables. I'm gonna use some, uh, some Brussels sprouts, but you can use, uh, you can use any other vegetables, wherever, wherever is in season. I, I will do mushrooms and Brussels sprouts because that's what I have in season now. I'm gonna put some olive oil. I'm gonna put some mushrooms in, face down to make sure you give a nice color to look nice in the plate. Slice this potato quickly by the time when the vegetable finish. I will slice it on the mandolin. You can slice it obviously, you can slice it by knife. I will use a cutter. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of olive oil, tiny bit of salt on the potato. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna put this in the oven and just give a couple of minutes around seven, eight minutes in the oven, just because it's so thin, the slice is gonna cook in no time. So I'm gonna finish the cabbage. I'm gonna give it some diced apple, just small dice, just to make sure you get, in every single bite, you get a small, small piece of apple. I'm gonna add some uh, blueberries into it. What we're gonna do next, look at that, it's just, it's just, it's just perfect. Very important with the English mustard, do not put a lot, yeah? Very important, just a tiny bit goes long, long, long way. In every single piece, you need to make sure you have a tiny bit of everything. Okay, just roll very nicely. 
just to make sure we have everything set up. So we try to make, I think two pieces of this proportion if you have is more than enough. It's a, it's a, just because you don't need a lot of Wagyu to enjoy Japanese Wagyu, to enjoy the actual flavor. You just need a tiny bit goes a long way. Just, it's so rich and it's so delicious. And just one mouthful is gonna be like an explosion. In Japan, it's quite traditional to have a, a cabbage roll. We do it upside down. In East Europe as well, it's very, very uh, used. I think in, in UK, we don't really use it as much. But this is an inspiration as well from, from, from the European side. I'm gonna use a Karastar uh, pot today. I'm gonna put now a couple of vegetables on the bottom as well. Enjoy cooking. Just be happy when you cook. Just be, because that's gonna feel when when you cook something. Just be happy. We're gonna put the potatoes on top as well. I'm gonna try to uh, make a nice, beautiful layer. Now, the most interesting part: the roll goes inside. So we're gonna try to put arrange it nicely there. We, I, I probably gonna put, really depends how big is your uh, your roll. I will put probably three in the middle and two on the side, just to make sure it covers, uh, it covers the whole uh, the whole length of the pan. Tuck it there to make sure it goes down. And look at that, already looks amazing. I'm 100% sure it's gonna taste delicious. What we have here, it's a beef, uh, a beef broth. I will add it a tiny bit, just to give me a bit of moisture. So, but, as well, don't put too much if you have it, and just make sure, move the pan to make sure it goes on the bottom. And that, when the, you put this in the oven, the steam is gonna help to cook the beef. So this now is gonna go in the oven for a couple of minutes. I'm probably gonna put this in the menu for two, three minutes, but then we check it. Obviously, it really depends on what ovens you have at home. I'm gonna put it at 180 degrees for three minutes, take it out, check it, and then uh, we'll see how it comes. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. So, how you can see, sizzling nicely, and the aroma is just, it's just incredible. It's just like the whole, uh, the whole aroma of it is just beautiful. Now, the best part, tasting. They're gonna take a roll. I'm gonna take some potatoes. So, just to show you how soft it is, it's just like, my knife goes through it like, it's just like butter. It's like, it's an amazing texture. The aroma of it is just with that, uh, the sweet aroma from the, from the Japanese uh, Wagyu fat is just brilliant. Wow, the texture. Which is brilliant. So, um, me personally, I consider this uh, quite a very healthy dish. I have loads of vegetables, I have some fruits, I have some salad. So it's definitely a, a very good, uh, a very good and healthy option if you want to eat healthy. And with Japanese wagyu being sliced so thinly, and I think you get the aroma so intense and the flavor is so beautiful, like you don't need a lot of beef. It's just like, that cover of it is just like, just perfect. If you want to learn more about Japanese Wagyu, head over to our website below, which is full of information about Japanese Wagyu, such as partners restaurants, butchers, and the e-commerce destination where you can purchase your Japanese Wagyu. Thank you very much, and enjoy the Japanese Wagyu.